this is one of the days my husband goes into work, he goes in two, three times a week. Uh, he's allowed, it's one of the jobs where he is supposed to be in work. So I wait until those days to then come into the kitchen because it's not really my thing. And I just have a, like a little bit of a tinker around. Um, so I've had a couple of goes at a bit of soup and a bit of uh, baking. They weren't um, wholly successful, but yeah, give it a go. In these times I'm gonna give it a go. So today, and some potatoes and I thought I'm gonna try and um, do another kind of soup I did a sort of carrot soup before I thought today I'll do a potato soup so health and hygiene first tie my hair back okay, let's check that I look all right because you're gonna look okay to do a bit of cooking don't you and um right let's see how we go so garlic's always good and a bottle of garlic and I did read somewhere that if you cut garlic and then you leave it for 10 minutes before you cook it you get even more good properties so even though i can't cook i do read all this stuff uh so i'm gonna cut the garlic now just like the chefs do just cut it up there's some peel on it but uh, it's probably fine uh, I, I guess it's all it's all good for you isn't it yeah. and then i found um a chilli, well I found a whole load of chillies, but I like my food really hot, but my husband and son, uh, we're all holed up here together uh, at the moment, they don't like things so hot, so I'm just going to do one chilli, so I don't really need the stalk, so we get rid of that, and um, again, just do that bit of a Gordon Ramsay type cutting it up, pretty good, and then um, found an onion, half an onion, and I thought, yeah, why not? Uh, it's got peel on it again, but is it it's good for you, isn't it? Peel, isn't it? So again, cut it off into nice, tiny, tiny little bits. Just cut it up. Just, I think rough cutting, roughly cutting. You don't have to be precise. You don't even have to look. Yeah, I think I must be getting an eye of this. You can, but don't do this at home. Do not cut things without looking at your fingers at home. Don't do any of what I'm doing at home. As I've said before, this isn't, don't point knives at people either. This isn't a cookery lesson. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just giving it a go and just see where it takes us. So, there we go. So that's all going to go. Um, I've got, look, 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 I've got loads of, it's got basically all the same things that I'd got before that I put in the other soup. I'm just going to put it in this soup. So, why not? And I'm just going to like put that on there. Like that. Oh, put a bit of oil. Um, there we go. A bit of oil, a bit of rapeseed oil. Just a bit of, just chuck a bit of oil in. And um, I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to, I need a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon. That's my son coming down the stairs. You can hear him come down the stairs. He's probably going to come and try to stop my attempts at cooking because. Um, self-preservation but there we go um, right while that's doing can you just open the bag of potatoes for me Lauren no, please I, I need it because I can't get into the lab I've got the strength it's good to have a strapping son to uh, come on come on in the <laughs> just open the potatoes <laughs> strength thank you so I've got, he's off for a walk or a run or something. He's allowed daily exercise. So there's three of us in the house, so I don't know. Three potatoes? Chuck another one in? I don't, I have no idea. Let's just, I mean, um, just chop, I suppose. It does get really um, quite mature really quickly, doesn't it? So, I'll cook just as well. Just as well, I'll cook. And, um, I need some water for that. Yep. Just you can hear the water now. Oh, it's quite heavy. It's got a good workout actually. And then I'll just turn that on as well. Um, um, don't know which one is which. That one, I think. Yep. And um, then I'm going to add all the things uh, uh, later. I think all the spices and all the herbs and things. I'll add that later. So I'm just going to go away for a bit now and. Um, do one of my usual creative things like having a bit of a write or a bit of a sing or um, something, read a book, watch a bit of TV, stroke a cat, I don't know. And then I'll come back and we'll see how we're getting on. Okay, quite exciting, isn't it? Later. 
Okay, so um, I'm back again. I have been away for a, a, a little while. I've been doing a bit of writing and a bit of a nap. To be honest, the minute I walked out of the kitchen, I'd forgot, completely forgot that I was doing some um, cooking anyway. But I'm back now. All is fine. So I'm just going to turn everything off and I, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Let's just have a look see that. Okay, so, oh, I don't want the steam to go onto my own computer, so just, uh, just shield it. Just, there we go. Okay, right. I, I did before I went off to do my writing, I did go and um, find rummage again through my husband's toolbox and found this, the power tool that I used before, so I'm going to use that again. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just add all the ingredients. So that's the onions and the garlic and the chilli. Yeah, it's great. It's great, isn't it? Just add all that in. And oh, I found some oat milk in the fridge, so I thought, that's potato and turmeric. Turmeric's really good for you isn't it? It's, so just add a load. I, I did think about looking at a recipe but I couldn't be bothered to be honest. Just, I'll just wing it, just make it up. Um, I don't know what that, that's some herbs for some Greek salad but I'm sure it goes good in hot stuff. Bit of margarine there, bit of margarine. Yeah, what's this? Coriander. Lovely young coriander, a bit of white pepper. A bit of white pepper. Oh, there's something else, wasn't there? There's some cumin seeds. A bit further away now because of the heat. I don't like the heat overheating my laptop because I don't know if that can work like that. Things happen like that. English mustard. I need a spoon. A spoon. Let's put a bit of English mustard in. I'm sure it goes well in soup. I'm sure it does. Found it in the fridge, so I thought, why not? <laughs> My husband found this. I'm not sure if it's essential shopping. Found it in the supermarket. Rainbow peppercorns. Is that essential? See now. Put it in. Put it all in. I do feel a bit like Jamie Oliver. I'm doing this. Just keep the screen on. And um, I've got some salt to put a couple of pictures of salt in. Now, this does look, could look like I've had it all laid out like on those cookery shows but the real reason is that the, um, the steam in the kitchen made the salt a bit damp so I had to uh, cut the top off and it's just the easiest way of using the salt now. Get the mustard off there like that and then give it a stir. Give it a stir. Let me show you, I'm not sure if I can show you this on the screen but look, look. Um, I better wipe that up now. I better scrape it all up and put it back in the pan. So um, I'm going to just leave it to simmer for a bit and then um, go off and lie down and recover a bit and then I'll come back and do all the, um, the, the, the whiz thing with, with this. <laughs> so whiz it all up for the final stages. So see you later. One nap later. Had a nice little lie down um, and I'm back again. I think it's ready to do the whizzy thing now. So um, I'm going to move the pan across a little bit. Let me just move it so that you can see because um, I'm a bit afraid of the mechanical things and if it all goes whizzing up in the air, I don't want it to get onto the, uh, onto the laptop. So, uh, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Of concentration, you've got to really keep your eye on the ball. It's hard work. <laughs> I, I think that'll do, you know, because you don't want soup that's too smooth, do you? You want a, a few bits of chunks in it, so I think just a bit. Much, much later. 
<laughs> I think I'd recommend power tool cooking to a <laughs> It's good for it's good exercise. Like my, my biceps and my shoulders don't have such a good workout in years, years. So there you go. Potato soup. I will no doubt see you in another video if we get through the soup episode this evening. I'm gonna give some to my husband and I hope he likes it. So he'll never know what the ingredients are. Never know. As long as he doesn't know the YouTube link, he will never know how this soup has been made today. Everything will be fine. And I've got, I've just thought this up now, just thought this up. Make up a recipe. Make up a recipe of the most bizarre ingredients that you can do. And it doesn't even have to be food things. Just make up, like I think Roald Dahl did a similar thing in one of his stories. Make up a fantastical recipe and video yourself, not necessarily making it, but just video yourself and tell us the list of ingredients. Draw a picture of the list of ingredients and send them in, send them in, subscribe, click the bell, make comments, send us stuff, send us stuff. It's all good, it's all good. Look, my skill set in this lockdown is improving boundlessly. Over and out. If you enjoy our videos and you're enjoying watching them, please do put a comment in the comments below, along there somewhere, or and and press the subscribe button. And there's a bell somewhere, I think, that if you press that, you'll get notifications of when we've got new videos coming up and all that kind of stuff. So, below.